Yo yo, why did the man bring a gun to the clock factory? To kill some time. Welcome back to Bobville. <laughs> man, I love that voiceover. Alright guys, let's get into it. Today we're making this gun script. I'm showing you kind of the background here. I got a gun and a little simple little bullet. And uh, they both have their separate scripts. We'll get into that in a second. I got a particle system here with the bullet and with the gun. I got a muzzle flash here, but we're gonna, instead of just having the gun to the player, we're actually gonna keep it in a gun holder. So you can create a empty gun holder and then put the gun inside that. That's who wanna hold all of our guns. Then I have the uh, pistol tip, I call it, but really just where the bullets instantiating from outside of the player. Then I have a uh, 2D freeform light, kind of outline on the gun there. And that's the muzzle flash. You know, still a work in progress, but as long as it works. So we'll start with the gun script, open that on up. And remember, simplicity is really the key here. I just want to keep it nice and simple. So we got our public game object bullet, our public float bullet speed, our transform of our gun, the gun tip, our fire rate, and then our time between the shots. All that's pretty standard stuff. Now, this doodle man move X direction here is basically gonna grab our movement script from our actual player and just take the X direction from it. And then we have our private animator and our particle system. Now, in our start method, this is probably the most important here. We're not just doing get component. For our animator and our X direction, we want to get the component in parent. And then for our muzzle flash, we'll get the component in children. So make sure that's set up right. And then in our update method, we got our input fire one and time dot time as greater than time between shots. We got our animation plan, our muzzle flash plan, and then our shoot method. So check the shoot method here. Our time between shots is time dot time plus fire rate. And then we're gonna instantiate a bullet. I'll call it bullet instance. So we're gonna instantiate it. The actual bullet will drag in and then at the position of our gun tip and the gun tip rotation. And so we'll call an if statement saying that if our X direction is basically facing right, then our instantiated bullet's gonna go out to the right. But then copy and paste that in the else statement and add a negative bullet speed. And so it'll go to the left when you fire that which is important not for our bullet but if you have a rocket or something instead of it going backwards to the left it'll actually flip the sprite and go in the way you want it to go so save that and <clears throat> now we just gotta drag in all of our prefabs and start with our bullet and then you can make the bullet speed you know however you want the more the larger the number the faster it'll go then we'll drag in the handgun and the gun tip. Set the fire rate so you can't just spam bullets. And then drag in that muzzle flash. And you can kind of see how the code was set up with the parent and the children. The muzzle flash is a child of the handgun the doodle man player is the parent of the gun holder so that's how that works so let's go ahead and open up that bullet script now and the bullet script is actually really simple um, we don't even need this rigid body here so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that get rid of it up here too and we'll take that out so you'll see that go away in the inspector in a second so really the main thing here since everything else is handled in the actual gun is we're just going to get our uh, particle system 
and and our start method and then on collision if it's not the player then it'll play the race the race just instantiates the particle system that's pretty much it so once we get back out here you'll see that rigid body go away there that's really all we need there and make sure your gun doesn't have a rigid body on there um, I had a rigid body on there at first and it was just causing all types of problems all those problems went away as soon as I took it out so that's a quick tip not quick enough for an actual video by itself so we hit play boom we got bullets and if I go back to the uh, rigid body of our player open that up you can kind of see at the bottom here it says the local center of mass is positive and negative you see how that's flipping there and then our scale at the top here and our transform is flipping so that's basically what our script's doing when it's taking our players transform and if the x value is positive then our bullet will fire to the right and if our players face the other way then it'll fire to the left obviously but yeah that's just about it guys we got to do it this way instead of having the gun and the player just so uh, we can actually switch between weapons so that was the easiest way i found to do that so hope you guys enjoy until next time we'll go a little further into it peace bullets are so weird they only do their job after they're fired. <laughs>